Hello, now I'm doing the test for nitride ion. Nitride ion, I would say in two different ways, it is something special. Students should be very careful, extremely careful when we do the test because this is the most dangerous uh, chemical test, I would say, and at IGCSE level because it needs heating sodium hydroxide solution containing sodium hydroxide. And uh, secondly, uh, this is the only test we are using sodium hydroxide among the anions. Otherwise, all the anions we are using some acid, uh, a dilute acid. But this is the only test we are using sodium hydroxide. So probably it may be easy for you to remember. I take a sample of nitrate. I'm using potassium nitrate. I tried to use barium nitrate, but it was the test result wasn't very promising. So I decided to go with the potassium nitrate. Barium giving a slight precipitate with sodium hydroxide. That's a problem with that barium hydroxide. So I'm adding uh, one centimeter cube of slightly more than one centimeter cube of sodium hydroxide. Then I add aluminum foil. I roll it up and then I add aluminum foil. Uh, two small pieces I'm adding. Okay. Now I'm supposed to heat it while Heating, I should always use. This is a heating where I should be very, very careful. I have a non-luminous flame when I heat it. The best practice of heating is heat it with uh, continuous shaking. And uh, you know, it should, it should always avoid local heating and it should be continuous shaking. And the temperature is quite high. Since it is quite high, you should be really careful you should, I always advise it, do only in the presence of a teacher. Without teacher's strict supervision, you should not do this test. A direct supervision, I would, uh, I would advise. Then, the gas should, should be tested with the blue as well as red litmus paper. And we should, we are expecting a gas, which is ammonia. So, ammonia will, ammonia is the only basic gas. So, that will change. Red litmus blue. So I should uh, make the indicator paper wet. I should keep it. I should show it at the mouth and slowly lower it. Leave it at the mouth of the test tube this way. Slightly heat it. The vapors should change the color of the indicator paper. Uh, it shouldn't be the sodium hydroxide from, it should be only the vapor. Uh, so basically the indicator paper shouldn't be touching the sides. You can see on the indicator paper there is a blue color. So there is only one gas in our syllabus which turns red litmus blue which is alkaline in nature. So it is very clear it is ammonia. Okay now you can Gently waft and smell, but remember direct smelling is never allowed. It is very dangerous. So never do that. With the gentle wafting, you can get the smell of ammonia. Yeah, you get the smell of ammonia. That's a test for nitrate. Thank you.